Hi there, are you looking for a way to accelerate your STM32 MP1 development? At ST, we have been working really hard with a large number of partners, about 40 in fact, to create solutions that make your life easier. Here behind me, I have two of them, TimeSys and Fondries, with whom we have been collaborating to create a solution based on the MP1 that will bring you the support you need to get to market faster. As ST, we propose a solution based on open source software. We collaborate with two partners on security aspects, giving us the capabilities to offer you an opportunity in deploying and maintaining securely your devices thanks to Foundry's Factory Edge platform and thanks to TimeSys Vigilus to create complete end-to-end -end device security solution that will enable you to implement security early in the design of your embedded Linux-based product. All that around our MP1 family. Let's take a closer look, starting with Foundries, who have a demo showing an IoT dashboard deployed as a containerized microservice inside a Foundries factory on a STM32 MP1. That demonstrates three containerized services working together in harmony, each one updatable independent of the others. And now, let's check out TimeSys, who have a demo showing the Vigilance solution to monitor your STM32 MP1-based product for vulnerabilities and available fixes, integrated with OpenST Linux. So now that we have seen our partner's demo, let's check out one that we have put together to showcase AI enablement on the MP1 using our open source offering. So here, we have a use case mixing computer vision, connectivity, and privacy protection. In this demo, the STM32 MP1 is used as an headless camera device from Siena Systems that will compute video frames and transfer non-sensitive data to another device via the cloud or local server, and maintaining people's privacy. In this demo, it's based on Xlinux AI Open ST Linux expression package that can be downloaded from ST Microelectronics GitHub. The STM32 MP1 is managing camera streaming, neural network inference for people detection and counting, is executed on the CPU. So here, we are talking about through edge AI. The data is then sent to the cloud via Wi-Fi. And here, where it gets interesting, you can see how the, we protect people's privacy and we save bandwidth. On the application side, we are retrieving people coordinates, data only, on the few bytes of data. It's transmitted on the cloud, so saving bandwidth globally. On this desktop UI, we display the information on the people's coordinates in a virtual environment, and users can control the STM32 MP1 computing behavior based on user constraints. For more information on the STM32 MP1 and its partner, check out st.com.